Hi guys! As technology continues to advance and data demand skyrocket, upgrading your network to 10G speeds has become an essential step toward achieving unparalleled performance and efficiency. So in today's video, we're exploring the benefits of upgrading to a 10G network switches, allowing you to expand your network without compromising performance. And you can experience the benefit of a free design consultation for your technology system effortlessly by simply share your questions with us through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts will provide you with recommendation tailored to your specific needs. So more than application and technology such as video streaming, cloud computing, and Internet of Things devices place significant strain on existing network, requiring faster and more reliable connections. That's why the traditional network switches might face limitation in handling those escalating demand, leading to decreased performance. So upgrading your network becomes essential to ensure seamless and efficient data transmission supporting the evolving needs of businesses and users in today's digital landscape. That's why we recommend the 10G network switch. It offers higher data transfer rates, enabling faster communication and reducing latency, results in improved network performance, ideal for real-time application, large file transfer, and smooth video streaming. This switch also boosts enhanced capacity to handle bandwidth-intensive tasks, ensure seamless data flow, and uninterrupted connectivity. Moreover, investing in 10G network switches help future-proof your network for upcoming technological advancement, position your network to stay competitive and meet the growing demand of tomorrow's application and services. So when choosing a 10G network switches, there are several considerations to ensure the right fit for your network requirement. First is the port count and scalability to recommend the current and future network needs. Second, power over Ethernet support. You can choose to use this technology for powering connected devices. Third, management option. There are a managed and managed switch based on the network complexity and the control requirement of your need. Last but not least, choose the one that can compatible with the existing network equipment and protocols. So by carefully considering those factors, you can now choose the right 10G network switch that meets your current needs and provide room for future growth and technological advancement. So now let me introduce you to some of our 10G network switches. So this is our 8 port 2.5G unmanaged switch with 10G of link. It has 10G Ethernet for mass data transfer and potential network expansion. Equipped with a RJ45 port that can support up to 2.5G data transfer rate and for a high bandwidth upload too. And next, I'm going to introduce you to another 8 port 2.5G PoE++ switch. Now, this switch provides a cost-effective solution to increase your networks throughout and provide up to 90 watts of power for 2.5G devices. It has one 1G SFP of link port and a 2.5G RJ45 port. Now it can provide up to 60 gigabit per second of switching capacity and compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT and BT standard. The total power supply of 240 watts and make sure you keep in mind only port number 1 to 4 can supply up to 90 watts of maximum power and port number 5 to 8 can provide up to 30 watts of maximum power output. So now to the list, we have this 24-port fiber optic SFP managed switch allows you to finish fiber connectivity that is with different bandwidth requirement conveniently and cost saving. It has 16 1G SFP ports, 8 1000 megabit per second combo ports, and 4 10G SFP ports for high-speed connectivity, and you can achieve the performance of 
4G network by grouping the four 10G ports together, and also support powerful L2 management, including traffic monitoring, QoS, and VLAN, so you can manage and maintain the network more easily. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our router to the 24 port managed fiber switch to provide data. Over here, we have the SFP transceiver. This is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of fiber optic cable and the connector and the distance that you use. This is where we connect to the fiber optic cable. Let's plug them into our 10G of link port using two fiber optic patch cord to connect to our SFP transceiver. So this side is all done. Now let's go to our fiber optic termination box. This box is to protect and organize our fiber optic cable. And it's already connected to a 300 meters four strand fiber optic cable. And we are using two strand for now. And today we are using an LC connector. Since it's pre-made, so it's ready to use, we don't need to worry about the connector. Let's connect it to the termination box. And over here we have our 300 meters fiber optic cable. And goes all the way to the other termination box. Like this. So now I'm going to use another two fiber optic patch cord to connect to the 300 meters fiber optic cable. And here we have two switches. Let's use the first switch is our unmanaged high power PoE switch. This is the SFB transceiver. Let's plug it in here. Connect to the fiber optic cable. And using the short patch cord here to connect to the switch to our high power wireless access point. As you can see, the indicated light is getting on. It's receiving high power and data at the same time. So underneath, we have our unmanaged switch using the fiber patch cord to connect to the SFP transceiver, plug it in to the switch. And we're going to use this switch to connect to our computer. Let's come over here. Just like this. This is how you connect to a computer using this unmanaged switch. So this is the whole setup for today. So for additional information, to ensure a seamless installation, you will need to consider the power requirement of the 10G network switches and guarantee you have adequate power sources available. You can use a redundant power supplies or PoE if needed and choose quality cables and connectors for your setup too. And ensure the proper grounding and add surge protector if required. So thank you very much for watching us and engaging with our content. We appreciate your support and can't wait to bring you more in the future. So please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling.